up, guys? It's Ephraim back here with Space and Out, and I'm going to give you the latest news in astronomy and space and science in general once again. Uh, this week, there's G objects that astronomers have discovered, which they look like a gas, but they act like stars. So they orbit around the center of our galaxy, which they believe is to be a black hole, Sagittarius A. And as they get closer to that black hole, whatever those objects are, they compact. But then once they go back towards the end of their orbit, they get stretched out again. Stars normally don't do that, so that's why we believe they're kind of like a gas, but they, they just act like stars, because gas normally doesn't do all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also astronomers last year, they showed us the first picture of a black hole ever taken. It was amazing, because we can see something that doesn't give off light. How do you take a photo of something you can't see? But now they're using x-rays kind of like echolocation, so they can create a detailed map of the event horizon of a black hole. This is the final stage before nothing can escape the black hole's gravity, not even light. So by using x-rays, they're using it like a sonar in an ocean, where they send it out, they see how it reacts with whatever it's hitting around it, and they could create a map, like a very detailed map, about how the x-rays are behaving around this event horizon. And then in last news, Astronomers have discovered like nine gamma ray sources, nine new gamma ray sources, and it doesn't seem like a big deal. It's just gamma rays coming to Earth, like, wow, big deal. But gamma rays, we can trace them back to cosmic rays because cosmic rays create gamma rays when they collide with certain particles. And so by finding the sources of the gamma rays, we can find the sources of the cosmic rays, which just like we map the black holes, we can now map our galaxy, our universe, so we can actually see what home outside of home looks like without just looking at it. We can actually see detailed what's happening in this area, what's happening in this area, all by looking at these waves and finding out where they originated. But besides that, nothing too new has happened. Beetlejuice has not exploded yet, which kind of unfortunate, but kind of good. I mean, we don't want to see a big bright sky, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.